Happening now, a woman getting her day in court years after she was run over by a beach patrol truck. Opening statements got underway this morning. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live outside the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale with more. Joan? We are actually in the courthouse on the 14th floor where this case is going on right behind me and they are moving on Maribel at a quick clip and this case could end today. Let's see. For the first time, we're hearing what happened in April 2012 when an ocean rescue vehicle rolled over tourist Rinda Mizell while she was sunbathing on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Lieutenant Tracy Malt was driving the truck. So I was taking off north to south, and I accidentally straddled the plane. Screaming, and I stopped my truck to find out where it was coming from. I got out of my truck, looked under my truck, and I saw her laying under my truck. I'm pretty sure when she put her hands up that she touched the undercarriage. Mizell had cuts, bruises, and burns. She's suing the city in civil court, seeking a payout for her constant pain and altered active lifestyle. She's learned to open the refrigerator, not like this, but kind of using, using leverage. The little things mean a lot. The time spent trying to find new ways to not have any pain instead of dealing with that pain. But the city's attorney argues Mizell's own doctor says she has full range of motion, no permanent scars, and no nerve-related issues. If you look at the facts, and the evidence will show that she was not run over by the tires of the vehicle. So that is what the city says, that the tires never actually rolled over this woman. Again, they are fighting uh, excessive damage is in this case. Um, we we'll, may know by the end of today exactly what the jury's thinking on whether and how much money she may deserve for this accident. Reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.